Tickle Pink and Finch channel. I'm Kimberly, and so you know what that means. It's cocktail time! Woo woo! So, it's Halloween season, which means Halloween parties and get togethers and costumes. And I'm just gonna be honest, Halloween's not my fave holiday, but I can always get behind a good themed cocktail. And with all the parties coming up, I found this amazing cocktail that I think would be great to serve as a signature drink at your next Halloween party. It's called the Black Widow. How cool is that? You could even serve it with like some cute little plastic spiders or something fun and festive. And actually what a Black Widow is, is pretty much like a basil um, blackberry margarita. So yum. I mean, I would put on a costume if I knew that there was a party with this cocktail on the menu. So let's get to making the Black Widow cocktail. It's pretty simple. What you're going to need is a cocktail shaker. What we're going to start off with is one and a half ounces of Blanco tequila. Pick which tequila you like. Um, again, you want to go with good quality because you're drinking it, so pick something you like. One and a half ounces of tequila going in our cocktail shaker. And then we are going to use three quarters of an ounce fresh lime juice. You know how I feel about this. Don't bitch and moan. You really need to squeeze the juice. It makes a difference and it doesn't take that long. So we're going to do three quarters of an ounce fresh lime juice. Pour that in. There we go. Next up, to sweeten it, we're going to use agave syrup. Now, I bought agave syrup. You can make agave syrup with agave nectar and kind of like equal parts water and agave nectar and then kind of microwave it or heat it over the oven to make a syrup. But if you don't have time for all that, they do sell it at the store, which I find is easier and is a little less expensive than buying syrup that you're not going to probably use or the nectar that you're probably not going to use in anything else. So we have agave syrup. And we're going to use half an ounce of that syrup right here. And that should give it a nice little bit of sweetness. There we go. And then after that, we're going to put a handful of fresh basil leaves. So get your fresh basil, put it in there. We've got rogue leaves running around. So we've got the leaves. And then we're going to add two blackberries. So fresh blackberries, don't use frozen. Um, if you can't find blackberries this time of year, that could be an issue, but they should be in most grocery stores should have them. So now we're going to muddle the ingredients because we need to break up the basil and the blackberries to release their oils and their flavors and to give it a really good flavor. So we're just going to gently muddle. We don't want to pulverize. Again, we want to just get the oils and the basil going and then we want to kind of crush up those blackberries for some beautiful color and texture. So we're just muddle, muddle, just muddling along here. So now that I've got it pretty muddled, I can see in the glass it looks like things have kind of blended together. So there we go. And see, you can see the blackberry pulp is kind of stuck to the bottom of the muddler, which is a good thing. We're gonna set that right here. Now we're gonna fill our shaker. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's gonna roll. I'm gonna lay it down there. Anyway. <laughs> Now we're going to fill our shaker with ice because we've got to chill the drink and now we have ice kind of going everywhere. Not a lot, just enough to get it chilled. And we're going to put it on and we're going to shake. And you want to shake really good, really hard because you want everything to combine. Uh-oh, got a little. And we want to chill the drink. So shake, 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 shake. Okay. I typically shake until my hand gets too cold to hold the shaker. But, you know, you want to give it a good, good shake. Now, we're going to fill a rocks glass. This is called a double rocks glass with ice. Fill that up. The ice is trying to escape all over the place, so that's okay. And also, shaking a cocktail also makes it have volume because the air gets in there, so it builds up volume and foam, so that's also a good thing. So now we have our rocks glass full of ice. I'm gonna move this out of the way because no one wants to look at a dirty shaker glass. And we're going to just pour this in. Look at that beautiful dark purplish color. It is perfect for Halloween. It is dark and magical and really kind of cool and I can smell the fresh basil. And I think it's gonna be a really delicious drink. I'm super excited. Now, now that you have that, all you have to do is garnish with fresh basil. You can put a little sprig like that. And I put blackberries on a toothpick and I'm just gonna lay it across like that. So that way when your guests arrive they know what's in it. They know that there's basil and there's blackberry and there you have it. One Black Widow cocktail. 
let's see how it tastes. Mmm, it's refreshing, it's bright, and since it's like a fall cocktail, you wouldn't expect that, but the basil really does give it a really fresh flavor with the lime and the blackberry. So if you're looking for your next signature cocktail for your Halloween bash, I highly suggest you make a Black Widow. And I want to wish everyone a happy and safe Halloween. Cheers, everybody!